Hello everybody and welcome back. Okay, today I want to show some of my favorite extensions that I use. Either this video will give you some good ideas to download some of these extensions, or it'll just be a good video to have in the background while you eat food or something like that. I am going to warn I use Firefox as my browser. However, most if not all of these extensions that I mentioned are also available for Chrome. And of course, I'm going to have the timestamps and the links to all these extensions in the description below. I guess we should start off simple with an ad blocker. This is the one that I use. This is the one that I think everyone should use. I don't know why other people are using the other like I guess fake ad blockers. When you type in ad blocker on either Chrome or Firefox, you get so many of these like garbage ad blockers, which doesn't make sense to me because for the longest time, uBlock Origin has been like the ad block you see has 7 million, almost 8 million people using it on Firefox alone. I've never had any problems with this ad blocker. I know a while ago, YouTube started blocking people who had ad blockers. And I never had any issues with this one at all. All my other friends were like freaking out going, oh my God, I got blocked and I'm over here like, what? What are you guys using? <laughs> I guess kind of a bonus to this would be sponsor block. If you don't know what this does, basically whenever you're watching a YouTube video and the YouTube video has a sponsored section, let's say they're sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends or something like that, it will automatically skip that section of the video. Just as an example, you can see right here, this is a video from TechLinked. And you can see they have an ad right here. And if we were to go to it and press play, I muted the video so it doesn't get in the way. You see it automatically skips the ad and you don't have to watch it. You don't have to listen to the ad at all. How it works is a community of people. They, if you watch a video and you see an ad, you can basically report where the ad is and then the extension will block that ad. This is also a little bit of a bonus extension or two bonus extensions. Return YouTube dislike and YouTube nonstop. What these do, as you can see, it returns the YouTube dislike button and YouTube nonstop makes it to where if you're listening to music on YouTube in the background, it won't randomly give you a pop up saying, hey, are you still here? Are you still listening? So you don't have to click on that. These two are really good to have, in my opinion. All right, let's start getting into some of my favorite, more favorite extensions. Right here, we have Scroll Anywhere. This one might be my most used extension out of any of the other ones on this list, honestly. When you download this one, it does take a little bit of a setup. All you want to do is go into the options. And I'm pretty sure the only thing I changed was this right here making it left click by default. And what this extension does is if you click and drag somewhere on the screen, it basically acts as if you're on mobile. You know on mobile, whenever you press down and then you drag, it will drag the screen around. You can do that now with a mouse. This is super useful. I use this for like just about every website. There are some websites that this doesn't work on. If the website you're using has a lot of clicking and dragging, like maybe uh, Google Earth, Google Maps, uh, Google Drive, if you're like scrolling around in there. If it has a lot of those where you're clicking and dragging a lot of stuff around, then you might want to disable it, which you can just do in the extension itself. You can disable it on certain websites. Like I said, this is just amazing. I use this on every single <laughs> website that I can use it on, basically. Speaking of one of my favorite extensions this is probably my second favorite extension on this list keepa.com amazon price tracker what this one does as you can imagine is it lets you track the price over time of any amazon product and this can give you some super useful information on whether you should or should not buy a product as you can see on this page alone we can view the entire price history of this product. You can also filter out the used. You can filter by uh, the year, three months, a month, and a week. And as we can see on this product, it says that it's a limited time deal, $16 when the list price is usually 26. So you might be thinking, oh, I should probably buy this right here, right now. However, if we go down and view the price history for this, we can see that it's on sale for $16 a whole lot. You can see this is April, March, February, November, October, September, basically every month it's on sale. So is it really a limited time deal if it's on sale all of the time? This is super useful as well if you want to see if something's majorly on sale 
as you can see right here this subwoofer right here is majorly on sale right now it never really goes this low except for back in october another thing you can do which is really cool if you're planning on buying something but you want it to be below a certain price range you can go to track this product and you can actually track or ask this extension to track its price and whenever it goes on sale it will send you an email telling you hey this item is on sale you might want to buy it you can set the price range of how low it needs to go before it sends you an email things like that overall this is just really cool i think it's an extension everyone should have honestly all right next up we've got a double extension i want to show off this one is called search by image and there's also image search options both of these basically do the same thing but i'll show the reason why i'm recommending both of these okay so if you have an image you want to know the source of or you want to know where it's from all you have to do is you have the image on your browser you can right click and then go to search by image and then on search by image you can search all of these different search engines you can search it on google bing uh tiny eye shutterstock uh, just a whole bunch of different search engines i'll actually click it real quick you see it opens all of them in new tabs and then all these different websites will show you basically where these images are from and then the other one doesn't allow you to search all of the different search engines however it does allow you to search using sauce now uh what anime basically this one is really good if you uh if you watch anime and you want to know you see an image on maybe twitter or something and you want to know what anime it's from you can just quickly search using this other one or if you want to know the sauce of another type of image if you know what i mean anyways yeah they're basically the same thing i recommend both depending on uh this one if you watch anime this one uh just for general use all right, next up, we've got an extension called v Vimium. What this extension lets you do is it basically lets you, I guess the word would be teleport using your keyboard. Basically, this extension lets you not have to use a mouse to navigate the web. As you can see, if we go on Wikipedia and we press the F key, you can see a whole bunch of different things pop up. And if I want to go to a certain link, let's say this one right here, all I would do is I would press the key combination that it gives me. So D and E. And it brings me to this web page and i can do it again if i want to go to another one and i can just keep on doing this i don't even have to use my mouse i don't have to pick up my mouse i can use this entirely on my keyboard the only downside to this extension is that because f is the activation key i'm sure you can change it but i'm too lazy to but because f is the activation key there are some websites that don't work well with this for example on youtube the f key is also the full screen key as you can see so there are some websites that you'll want to have uh disabled with this if it uses a lot of key combinations but other than that if you're the type of user who doesn't really want to use your mouse sometimes you just want to use your browser one-handed i guess then uh this is the extension for you okay wiki.gg redirect this one's for if you're a gamer mostly if you do gaming from time to time you probably know about different wiki rep websites like fandom for example you might know or you might not know that the fandom website wikis are usually really bad they're run by the community so a lot of the times people can just put informations on the websites or put useless information that isn't really needed and a lot of the times there is a counterpart wiki gg version of whatever fandom website you want to go to for example terraria the main problem is whenever you google something for these different websites whether it be minecraft or terraria or whatever game usually fandom is the first link as you can see this one's already redirected by the extension if I didn't have the extension, this would bring me to the fandom website. But now that I have the extension, all I have to do is click it and it will bring me to the wiki GG version of this website, which is a lot better. It's a lot better maintained, better updated, has better information on it. If you play games and you use the different game wikis, then you definitely need this add on. All right. And I think that's going to be the end of this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like subscribe. If you haven't already, if you have any extensions or add ons that you use that you want to recommend, then leave them in the comments. And uh, who knows? maybe you might recommend an add-on that uh, i can add to my list anyways i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye